in the workplace, they're not as likely to become the leaders because of their lack of political savvy and all the charisma and charm stuff means that they often do not escalate to leadership positions, but they are very likely to be your sullen, resentful, brooding, and bitter coworker. They are also often the sort of know-it-all coworker who has all the answers, who criticizes other people's work and contributions, but who doesn't always do a very good job themselves. They are definitely not good team players and will often be quite dismissive of any form of team building or cohesion. You may even sort of try to win them over, but by and large, that often only results in them becoming a bit sort of prickly. They may often complain about getting the same amount of work as everyone else, and they sort of bring this general kind of dark cloud into the workplace. But because of their victimized, sort of sullen, petty underbelly, they often do and often will threaten to and actually file grievances and lawsuits when they perceive even an imperceptible hint of inequity. And many times they will file these complaints even when they are working less than everybody else. It's not unusual for them to try and work all the angles and figure out how to cast themselves as a victim and file the lawsuit and get the payout so they simply don't have to work. And at some level, they feel that they're sort of entitled to this kind of payout. In this way, this type of personality pattern can be very expensive for workplaces. Their conduct can poison an entire workplace team and dismantle morale for many, many people in a workplace. You know, it's when, I maybe you've said this, I know I have, is that when you say, you know, I really do love working with most people here, and if just that person and that person wasn't here, usually covert narcissists, this would work so well. Their resentment and hostility often gum up the work of workplaces and they gum up teams and they gum up staff morale. They always feel that people are against them in the workplace and they're frequently paranoid that people are actively undermining in the workplace and believe you me, most people aren't taking notice of them. If anything, they're just wishing they would call in sick. <laughs>